Welcome everybody to Funeral Nation episode 90. I'm Ryan Thogmartin. That is Jeff, the Funeral Commander Harbison. Hey y'all. I think you did that nine times, right? I don't know. I, I was just flashing. Somebody's um, going to catch it. They'll count. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm wrong. You know, I'm typically. <laughs> Never. Uh, no, no. Don't, Never. I'm not even going to tell you where to call to find that out. But anyway. <laughs> All right. Hey, look, uh, I'm excited. we got a great show today. Who are we sponsored by? Who's our engine? C and J Financial and the Fast Funding Group, Jamie and the Boys. Let's roll that promo. Hi, my name is Lawrence Fish. I'm with We Corley Fish Funeral and Cremation Services in Austin, Texas. And today I wanted to say thanks to Jamie Meredith and C and J Financial for all the great work that they do for funeral homes around the country. For the funeral homes that are struggling with cash flow and the filing of insurance policies, I can't more highly recommend Jamie and his team at CNJ Financial. The customer service is first class. They're prompt with following up on claims, and it has been a tremendous asset to us in helping with cash flow and also helping families at a time of need. So thank you for your team, Jamie, and those at CNJ Financial, and we appreciate everything you do for funeral homes. All right, Jeff, what do we got coming up on today's show? Well, uh, I'm excited today. We're going to have the proprietor of aftercare.com to introduce something new and exciting to our business. You hear it here first all the time, guys. We're the leader in this industry with up-to-date news and great commentary and content. Um, we're also going to go, our spotlight's going back to Vegas, unfortunately. And the WTF is an advertising nightmare. So, uh, Ryan, what's the buzz this week, man? It's got to be NFDA convention coming up. I mean, that's what everybody's focused on. Um, on the connecting directors, we're just getting a ton of press releases for new product launches, different companies that are launching different services. Um, we'll hear about one today from our, our interview with, with Ellery and aftercare.com. So um, it's, you know, it, it's NFDA. It's the Super Bowl. It's the Super Bowl of funeral business. Hey, uh, in fact, speaking of Ellery and Aftercare, let's run their promotion. Are you a funeral director who just can't find time to follow up with your families? We all know how important Aftercare is, but meeting with families and running a funeral home doesn't leave much time for anything else. The Aftercare Card Program is an automated program that sends out four cards plus a survey to your families during the first year following a loss. You simply go to aftercare.com and enroll your family and you're done. It literally takes about a minute and the cost is only $20 per family. Visit aftercare.com today to learn more and get a free sample. Ryan, a question for you now for the more you know minute. It comes from Shelly in Atlanta. Instagram or Facebook for my funeral home? Well, Facebook's king. You got to start there. Instagram is going to be extremely valuable. It is valuable, but most of the time funeral homes are dealing with limited funds. So when you're dealing with limited funds and you got to pick one, it's Facebook all day long. Wow. There you heard it, folks. It's not that hard. And if you're not doing it, you lose. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that your line? That's it. Yeah. Hey, yeah. speaking of uh, doing it, our friends at uh, Pierce Chemical, Lance, we're going to have him on in a week or so. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's show what they're doing. Pierce is in the bomber's choice for fluids and over 1,800 different prep room supplies in stock. Visit us at piercechemical.com to learn more about Pierce. Okay, Mr. Commander, we teased a little bit, but who's our guest today? Uh, our guest today is Ellery Bowker of aftercare.com. Awesome. you got to watch this. Let's roll it. Ellery, welcome back to the Funeral Nation show. Thank you. Happy to be here. Yeah, I think this is what your third time on. You're a regular celebrity now. <laughs> it is. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'm. I know I'm in a, some elite company. I think there's only been a couple others, right? Yeah, yeah. Jamie, I think's been on Paula Masters. In fact, um, you probably could be a co-host, but you're too nice a guy, so we can't do that. <laughs> hey, look. Uh, how about remind everybody uh, who you are and tell us a little bit about your company, AfterCare.com. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm Ellery Bowker, the founder of aftercare.com. I've been in the funeral business about 12 years. Um, recently, we launched aftercare.com and we have a single focus, and that is to help the funeral homes or the cemeteries stay in touch with their families following the loss. Um, we're in the business of helping them maintain and build relationships with families that they've already served with the obvious goal of help, uh, helping to serve that family again when the need arises. Fantastic. Uh, I mean, aftercare.com has already been a huge success. 
a uh, number of firms that, that we know are using it and loving it. So can you give us a quick refresher though on, on how the program works? Yep, absolutely. Um, we have an aftercare card program that sends out four cards plus a survey to the family uh, during the first year following the loss. And here's how it works. The, fam the funeral home enrolls the family with us. It takes about 30 seconds to do that. We've got some ways that make it really easy for them. Once we get it, we take it from there. Um, we send them out four cards. We send out a sympathy card that goes out after two weeks. And all of the cards are branded with the funeral home's information. It's highly personalized. After six weeks, we send them out a follow-up survey that they can fill out and mail back, or they can fill it out online, and it's unique to each family. And then three more times throughout the first year, we're going to send them a card on days that are known to be difficult. So they get one on the, excuse me, on the birthday of their loved one, they get one during the holidays, and then the last one they get is on the first anniversary of the loss. <clears throat> what makes, what funeral homes love about this program is that it allows them to serve at need families and run the funeral home and still be able to let previous families know that, look, we still care about you. We're thinking about you, that sort of thing. So it, it really helps them out that way. And I think what's unique about us, and I think it's worth noting, is that there are many good aftercare programs out there. And I think what differentiates us a little bit is the timing of, of our pieces. So um, some other programs will send out something like it, you know, three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, and it's, it's more formulaic. And ours is not. Ours is designed to target that family and, and to be able to touch that family on days that we know to be difficult during that first year. And um, one of the cards that gets everybody is, and I'll just share this real quick, is the birthday card. <clears throat> and the reason being is if, you know, Jeff, if your mom passed away on her birthday, you're the only one thinking about that, right? None of your friends are thinking about it, your coworkers, anybody, but it's difficult right. for you. And so when you get a card from that funeral home on that day that says, you know, well, look, we know this is day is difficult for you. Um, and we're thinking about you. So that it's a touching thing. And, and so the timing of it makes it unique for us. And so I think that's why people like it so much. Yeah. And in fact, the funeral homes that I'm affiliated with use it. And uh, I can tell you, we love it. It's awesome. Um, Thank you. You know, we have you here for not only because we really like you and you're an extraordinarily successful, handsome guy, <laughs> but uh, you've got something to tell everybody. That's a new feature that you're rolling out here at uh, NFBA. We, can we do a drum roll, Ryan? <laughs> Go. So we are uh, really excited to share today that we are launching um, today on here first uh, a new free uh, survey tool that any funeral home or cemetery in the country is going to be able to use to get feedback from the families. Uh, and I'll explain in a minute kind of how it works, but it's free and it's super easy. The reason that we did this is, um, as you know, we've seen you guys out on the road. We've done most of the state shows this year, the state funeral director shows, at least most on the eastern half of the country. And as we've talked with literally thousands of funeral directors throughout this year <clears throat> about aftercare and building relationships, the one thing that kept coming up that seemed to have the most interest was the survey. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that the interest in the survey, that the interest in getting the feedback. And what we found was that a small portion of the people we talked to were already doing surveys. They would come up and say, well, we send out surveys and the majority were not. And what we found was that the ones that said they were sending out surveys, well, they weren't really sending out the survey. The company that they were affiliated with, whether it was an organization or a, or a company they worked with or just somebody that they've hired to do it, they were the ones that were sending out the survey. Um, what we found was that sur access to getting a survey is not very easy to do or sending out a survey is not very easy to do. It, it takes a lot of work. You know, you're, you've got one printed in your office, you've got to mail it out, there's a schedule, etc. So that's why most people that are doing a survey are sending one out, you know, via some other company, even even somebody like us with our card program, we send out the surveys. And we, we got to thinking about it. And we thought, well, what if we can make a, an easier way for them to get the feedback? You know, to get feedback, there's, you have to do one thing, right? You have to ask for the feedback. That's what you have to do. If you want it, you have to ask for it. <clears throat> well, there's not an easy way right now to ask for it. There is, um, there's just no super easy way to do that. So we decided to create a tool that will allow them to easily ask for that feedback. And what it's going to do is it's going to make feedback now accessible to every funeral home out there if they want it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And here's how it works. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> Pardon me. What we've done is we've created a, a, a very easy um, way what the funeral home will do is they will just after each service 
they will come to aftercare.com login and they can enter either the email address or the mobile phone number of everyone they want to invite to fill out a survey. So that could be one person or it could be 20 people. And the funeral director will likely just collect email addresses or mobile phone numbers in the arrangement conference. After the service, they will come on, enter in the email address or the phone number of those they want to get the survey and they hit submit. The survey can be sent immediately or it can be scheduled to be sent at any date in the future. The family will then get the invite. They click the invite. They come to a page that's completely branded with the funeral home's information. They fill it out. The funeral home gets a notification that the that a new survey has been received. They click the link. They're able to view it. It is absolutely effortless. Um, they don't need to know any other information other than the email address or the mobile phone number of those that they want to be able to fill that survey out. So we have literally... Um, you know, as my job as, as the CEO of the company and, you know, kind of the chief product guy, my job is to reduce friction. And literally, that's what I say I do. If, if I can remove friction from anything that we do from our product to our sign up process to our payment process to anything, um, that's what we do. And that's what makes us, you know, a little bit unique and, and hopefully makes us a little bit more successful. I applied that same logic to this survey tool. I said, you know, how can we continue to make this thing easier. And so what you see now is effortless. When we started, it wasn't necessarily effortless. We just kept taking out a step, taking out a step, taking out a step until now, literally, if they have a phone or they have an email address, they can invite them to fill out the survey. And literally all they have to do is enter in that one piece of information, hit submit, and then they go. Um, it's really, really going to be easy. Um, it's going to allow every funeral home out there, every cemetery out there that now wants to get feedback they now have a way to do it and it's very, very easy to do. So it's also available in Spanish. So they've got two different languages and Muy bueno. <laughs> yeah, it's very, <laughs> it's very simple to use. And so we, we expect to get a lot of use out of it. We really think that the funeral homes are going to appreciate uh, the opportunity to be able to get that feedback that, you know, is not easily accessible anyway by most of them. That's right. fantastic. So uh, how easy is the survey to fill out from the consumer perspective? And then what did you say the cost was again? Uh, the cost is free. It's completely free. Um, it's going to be forever free. It's just going to be something that we're going to give yeah, back nice. uh, to the funeral industry for two reasons. One is that we want to make it accessible to everybody. And two, um, a little more self-serving. We want to be able to draw attention to aftercare.com and let people know what we do. And so we think that's going to achieve both of those. Um, the survey is super easy for the family to fill out. They're literally going to get an email that's going to come from that funeral home. So it's going to be familiar and they're going to be a link in there. They're going to open that up, fill it out. Very, very simple to do. On the funeral home side, though, we've made getting started so simple. We kept removing step after step after step. It is super easy. The first thing they're going to do is they're going to sign up and get a free account. The second thing they're going to do is they're going to set up their survey. And when they sign up for a free account, we're going to ask them if they're a funeral home or a cemetery. And so we're going to pre-populate a survey for them. So if you're a funeral home, as soon as you sign up for your free account, there's a funeral home survey in front of you with questions already filled out that you can go in there and you can modify to fit your firm. You can also add questions to it from a question bank we have, or you can make up your own question. So once you get the questions the way you want them, you just hit save and you can change those at any time, by the way. So you hit save and that's it. And now all you need is an email address or a phone number to send out a survey. Fantastic. So it really could not, it really could not be any easier. Um, we think that people are going to appreciate uh, how simple that is. You know, uh, easy and free, <laughs> you know, that's uh, yeah. I'm not a real yeah. smart guy, but that sounds like a pretty good deal. Yeah. Um, and, it's, and it adds value. I mean, everybody, everybody wants the feedback. It's just, they just, it's never been easy to get. Uh, right. Without belonging to some organization. And listen, those organizations that send them out, they do a fantastic job. They're able to gather the data, you know, provide insights to the funeral homes. This isn't taking away anything from any of those guys at all. They do a great job. Um, this is just making an easy way for anyone else that wants to use it um, to be able to get that feedback. Awesome. Now, we get to see you in a few weeks up at uh, NFDA in Boston. And if a funeral director or owner is not visiting, uh, how can they find out more about aftercare.com survey program? Um, they can simply, we invite them to go to aftercare.com. There's a button at the top that says free survey tool. You can click on that. You can learn more about it. There's some frequently asked questions in there. Uh, but it's pretty easy to understand. And there's a big sign up button right there so they can get started and be sending out a survey in five minutes. Fantastic. And at, and at the NFDA, we were smart enough to get a booth next to you, Jeff. We knew that you were the draw. <laughs> so we're hoping that we can, you know, catch some of the overflow. There you go. Yeah. 
yeah, you know, uh, it's probably maybe some of my outfits or something that be a nice thing <laughs> this year. You know? We'll take it. <laughs> All right, yeah. Ellery, it's time for our lightning round. We're going to ask you some fun questions. Fire off an answer. First thing that comes to mind. Ready? Okay. Yep. Favorite barbecue spot? I have two. One would be the Pick and Pig in Carthage, North Carolina. And I have to give, I'm forever indebted to Robert Nunley from Fry and Prickett Funeral Home for turning me onto that place. It's absolutely addicting. And the other one is one in our own backyard. It's called Southern Smoke. So they're fantastic. Awesome. Hey, you're speaking my language, buddy. My mouth just watered as soon as you yeah. said all that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Carolina or state? Uh, Carolina, but my son is now at state and I write oh. checks there. So probably both. Okay. <laughs> Celebrity crush. Uh, have to be Jennifer Lopez. All right. Oh, that's a good uh, one. Ooh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I favorite? might put a fruit basket on my head. Wow, I'm no. next to you something. <laughs> favorite vacation spot? Um, the North Carolina mountains. Wow. Burial or cremation? Uh, I have to say burial. Wow. Awesome. Nice right. job. Nice job. Yeah, good job. That was pretty good. You know, you're still, uh, we, we, Martha Stewart has yet to been uh, breached by anybody else. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just stopped in my tracks. And as soon as I hear the question, I'm scared what's going to come out. Good job, Ellery. You're, you're on the team here. Right. Um, Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, look, first of all, we're, we're also grateful you're a supporter of the uh, Funeral Nation. You've been around with us. You were part of our concept when we come up early. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in Boston. As we leave, what's the one quick major point, tagline, would you like that you want to leave aftercare.com with the F, F nation? Um, aftercare matters. It, um, and I've said this before, but, you know, pre-need and aftercare are kind of the bookends of funeral service, but one, only one really gets attention. But, um, and, I, and I'll say this, you know, pre-need, if done properly, will generate future at-need calls, right? There's no doubt about that. At need calls will generate more opportunities for aftercare and aftercare if done properly will generate more pre-need. So the loop can continue when they continue. So, there you go. wow. It's a circle. It's a circle. Yeah. It's it matters. Aftercare. Really not, it's a circle. Listen, it, uh, um, you know, in, in this business, we call it aftercare and every other business is called customer service. <laughs> that's true. We love to make up some stuff, right? We're like <laughs> escort. Anyway, uh, that's right. I need to leave that one alone. Hey, Ellery, thank you so much. I can't wait to see you up in Boston. Absolutely. Uh, thank guys. you for being right. here. Congratulations on your continued success. Thank you. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. All right. Thanks, All Ellery. Buddy. All right. Thanks. All right. Great interview with Ellery, doing some great things. Uh, we, we've heard nothing but positives about aftercare.com and just how simple it is. So uh, this interview segment, though, was brought to us by our friends at Six Casket. Talk about simple. It's a simple way to increase revenue, increase profit, uh, and really disrupt the market. So let's check out what they're doing. Funeral Nation is sponsored by Sitch Casket. Sitch has changed everything for funeral homes facing declining profits from cremation, with casket quality equal to the top domestic brands, but half the cost or better. Enter now to win a free Sitch Casket at sitchcasket.com. Sitch, only your accountant can tell the difference. All right, Mr. Commander, spotlight segment. This is another one, tough one. You want to tell us about it? Yeah, everybody knows that the spotlight is, is shining light on positives in our, our industry and profession and what people are doing for us. The spotlight's on La Paloma Funeral Services in Las Vegas. We're all aware of the tragic events that happened, um, but they teamed up with the county commissioner to create a GoFundMe page to help with expenses for families. And they're also offering free cremations to their sister company, simple cremations at no cost to the families of this wow. tragedy. And, uh, you know, w w when you look out here of what we do and how we do it, when times get tough, our folks really step up. Yeah. So my hat's off, my salute to you and the team at La Paloma and the uh, Las Vegas area. Thank you for what you're doing. Um, this message was brought to us actually with the spotlight by United Community Bank. Someone else is making a difference in their community. Shifting trends in family choices expanding corporate ownership, rising costs. The funeral and death care industry is changing with each new year. At United Community Bank, our team of funeral and death care lending specialists understand the need for capital, 
for acquisitions, expansions, renovations, equipment upgrades, and more. And we make the loan application process as quick and easy as possible. We really are a community bank at heart, and we really are the bank that service built. We do have many products that are specifically designed for small business, and that really is a big focus of the bank. And that's an area that we want to continue to focus on, that we bring these unique solutions to small businesses. United Community Bank has the industry knowledge, resources, and the team in place to help make your goals a reality. Okay, this is when we move into our WTF segment. And, and what would you call this earlier? It's a, what? It's a uh, advertising nightmare. Okay. It's pretty hot. I, I it's thought, pretty hot, though. I thought you said appetizing because it was flame. Oh. Well, you know, it's funny because Ellery just talked about flame barbecue, right? Yeah, from yeah. down east. I love me some barbecue from North Carolina. Gosh. That's uh, home stuff. But uh, this is a pretty good deal. It's orange. It stands out. they got the flame grill and the funeral services. So uh, if your arteries are full and you can't take it anymore, you fall out, they can roll you right in the back. And just think of the crematory jokes that could come out of this. Man. <laughs> well, I wonder what was there first, the funeral home or the flame grilled? You know, interesting. That's a great question because the funeral home sign is above it. And so the other one's painted. Um, funeral home sign was kind of worn out. So I think the funeral home decided, you know, we all talked about bringing in additional revenue. Yeah. Hey, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do out there. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we get a lot of trouble with this one. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna back off of it. But uh, our friends at Skyways Media, Jack and the guys, what a publication. And if you want to talk about great advertising, that's the way to go. Let's run the promotion. Skyways Media is a family-owned and operated business specializing in the design and print of funeral planning guides throughout the USA and Canada. Our guides are written individually for your home and are an excellent community information resource along with acting as a high-class marketing tool for your business. The best part is that they are provided at zero cost to the funeral home. All right, Jeff, that wraps up episode 90. Uh, we're going to be banging out a few pretty powerful episodes the next couple of weeks as we lead up to NFDA and the Super Bowl. Do you want to give us a sneak peek of what's happening next week? We yeah, we're going to have Jamie on. They've got a big announcement. We're going to have Lance Ray on. They've got a big announcement. Um, we're going through all these folks out here. Uh, all the folks who are our sponsors are doing something cool and new. Yep. When we get to NFDA, we're going to have lots of live shots. We're going to have some little promotions that are going on there. So you and I as a team, we're going to be everywhere looking right. for us. you got your cool outfits. I've got what I'm going to put out here. I've already started working on it. My haberdasher has been really busy for this, this event. Uh, I can't even imagine. Awesome. I, I mean, at the end of the day, we are the best looking guys in funeral service. So, I mean. Yeah. You know, and, and you think about once again, what do we bring to the audience? I was talking to a prospect customer the other day and he was asking about what's going on in the industry as far as buying and selling. He said, yeah, I was just watching this show where they, they were talking about a new, uh, new uh, consolidator coming on. I was like, really? So tell me about it. So anyway, I said, well, I'm the guy that's interviewing. Yeah. We're, there's nobody out here with the content and up to date and uh, bringing really good stuff to our industry. And guess what? We're passionate about it and we love our people out here. So that's thank right. you guys for supporting us. Absolutely. Thanks for supporting us. Thanks for engaging on, on Facebook and YouTube. Make sure you continue to do that. Leave your comments. Until next time, have a great effing week. Out here.